say what you do today. Ah, put a sack of coat on them. And brackets right there. That's that gloss black right there. Rust over you made that. Uh, second coat. Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty slick. What else you do? Well, it's still not one piece. Because we got this piece of metal right down in that hole right there. That's that fuel pump bolt broke off in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that fuel pump bolt broke off in yonder. So let's get that up out of there. <coughs> and we put a little... Let's put some. Put, let's go. Let's put a few thousands of load on that. Take the backlash out. Set everything on even, and got that there bolt up in that four jaw chucker. It's a grizzly lathe G ninety nine seventy two Z. You know what I mean? Uh, half a thousandth is a half a thousandth uh, worth its own Logan or Atlas. You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll turn this chuck here, and, and uh, you know I'm gonna turn that in on less than a half a thousandth right there. Yeah, you know. taking in consideration the roughness on that boat right there. So uh, only only reason for this setup here is to drill a hole in the center of that boat right there. Uh, to be used for that guide in that fuel pump removing thing over. Now let's get that done. broke off down in there. Okay. It's three-eighths deep. Uh, 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 that, uh, so what, so this is, this is what, this is what that operation on the lathe over there ended up being. 
uh, drilled that hole through that 7 16 bolt right there, 14, uh, to make a drill guide out of it. So the, and, and the way you use that is you screw that down in there, that 3 8 Now when you put the drill bit down in there, it'll drill straight. But then reason. So kind of to help that drill bit find its center down in there, we'll take it. The, the first, you, you know, uh, backing up a little bit, the first indication is to take a uh, center punch and kind of eyesight it down in there and wham well, you got a center. Well, that's all well and good. But a step ahead of that is to take one of them center binding punches and put down that hole where it just clearance and pound on that. Now you've got a pretty decent center line right there. But uh, to kind of make it more, well, let's just get it done. Uh, I done already blowed that out with an air hose down in there and uh, that's all the, that's all we're dealing with. Okay. Uh, and then you take the smaller center finding punch and put down in there the one that fits the hole the tightest and then okay let's see what we got can I give indication of how hard that it, it could have been a stud oh yeah see I don't think we made much indent on that let me look at oh yeah Yeah, see, it, it, it must be soft because that's a real decent center punch in there. Uh, so so we're we going we gonna to go ahead and drill that. And it just so happened that one's broke off kind of level, maybe a little... Um, high on this side over here, which you know make it make your drill bit, and, and this that's a, that's that's the drill bit we drilled the hole in that thing with. So you know, let's put the drill on there and get on with that hole.
Now we'll touch that drill bit up a little bit. I think it should be cutting a little more than that. Okay, let's get that out of there. Okay. Uh, simply made a drill guide out of a 7 16 14 thread bolt because we had some good threads there. Put it down in there, drilled the hole, and this is the this is the thread that came out. And, and you see, by using the drill guide, we ended up pretty much the same. The center line of the hole there is pretty much the center line of the hole here. But but there's the uh, that there's the culprit, the broken off bolt drilled out and, and now we got a real good thread left dead in there. Let's uh, let's run a tap down in there and confirm that. Y'all watch your eyes.
I saved another one. You would think we was down to one piece, but we're not. couple days later what is it like uh, September the 19th or something like that right there about 530 in the evening uh, right there that's them bees right there what they're doing boy it's been hot and dry here contented bees you know on any given night they'll be hanging out on the front there you know so many of you you think where do all them bees come from you know They'll be congregating here in a little bit. Thousands of bees. That's what I'm talking about. Bee report today. I'm here in Middle Tennessee. The geographical center or something. Shop dog sound. Now y'all come on back next week and we'll start up one of my engines.